In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up and access your Olama inference server from anywhere in the world. So I'm going to be showing you how to set up this Next.js application. We're going to be using the LangChain expression language, the JavaScript version Next.js for the web app and Grok. And then we're going to be using Vercel for deployment. And by the end of the video, you'll have a way that you can access all of your local models. You'll be able to select all of the different models that you have downloaded locally. And one thing to mention, you're going to be able to both deploy this on Vercel for free, as well as use the free tier of Ngrok to facilitate all of this. So to get this set up, you're going to have to install and sign up for a couple things if you haven't already. So you're going to have to install Olama, and then you'll also have to have at least one local model installed. Then next, you're going to have to go to ngrok.com, install it on your computer. Then we're going to need our auth token from our .env. This is going to be what we put in front of our local server to access our local endpoint. If you're looking to deploy this, go ahead and make a free account on Vercel. That's going to be what we use to deploy the application. And then from there, you can either reach for the repo from the description of the video, which I'll be posting, or you can go ahead and get started from scratch from the Vercel AI SDK. So if you go within the Vercel AI SDK, you can go within examples. So the example page is a great place to start off an application. There's a ton of different examples in here. So we can just go within the next LangChain example. And from there, you can go ahead and MPX create next app within your VS code. But we're going to be working out of two files for our web app. So we're going to be working out of the route.ts, which is in our API slash chat route. And then we're going to be working within the page.tsx. So we're just going to have one page for our application here. So the first thing that I wanted to do is run through the back end. What we're going to do is we're going to import some necessary modules here. So if you pull down the repo from my GitHub repository, you can just go ahead and npm install everything and you'll be able to set all of this up. So we're going to declare that we're going to specify the runtime to be edge for when we deploy this to Vercel. So from there, we're just going to set up our post request and we're going to destructure a few different variables. So we're going to be sending across the messages array. We're going to be sending across our Olama URL, and then we're going to be sending across the selected model that we have. And then from there, we're going to be passing in the base URL to Olama. And instead of just passing in our local host, this is going to be where we pass in the server that's established from Ngrok. And then we're also going to be declaring which model we want to use here. We're just going to be setting up a basic function to format our messages that we're going to be including within our chat history. Then we're going to be setting up a simple template. So you can put anything you want within here. In this, I just said you are a chatbot named Olama, but you can put in other things like if you want to have it respond in a certain way or, or a certain tone or things like that, you can put that within the template here. Once that's set up, we're going to be setting up an array of all of the previous messages except the current message. Then we're going to be setting up a variable for the current message as well. And from there, we're going to be setting up the prompt template that we're going to be passing in to our LLM. So the template that we had just set up here. And then we're going to be setting up our output parser. We're going to declare our chain with the LangChain expression language, just like you see here. So we're going to pipe in the LLM. We're going to pipe in the output parser. And then this is going to be where we create our stream. So we're going to be passing in the formatted previous messages that we had. And then we're also going to be passing in the current message for our input. Then once we have that set up, we're going to be streaming back those responses like you saw at the start of the video to the front end of the application. So from there, we're going to head over to our page.tsx. We're going to declare that we're going to be using client for this component. And we're going to declare a handful of components that we're going to be using. So we're going to be using ShadCN UI for a handful of components. We're going to be using the AI library to communicate with the backend. And then we're going to be using the Phosphor icons library for a couple icons that we have here. We're going to set up our chat component. We're going to go ahead and utilize the custom hooks that are within the AI library from Vercel. And then we're going to set up some of our own hooks. These are primarily for what we send to the backend. So for our Olama URL, as well as the selected model, and we're going to create a couple handlers. So the first handler that we have is going to be how we handle the change of the URL. So this is going to be how you can go ahead and set up and put in your URL if you want to change it within the web interface. So you have that link at the top. And then you can paste in your ngrok link directly within there. And it's also set up with local storage so you don't have to continually put it in. Then from there, we're going to have a handler simply to change our model. Next, we're going to set up a simple function to toggle the visibility of that input where you can put in your ngrok URL. So while we have the ability to put in the input manually if we'd like, it's also going to go ahead and parse a query parameter on the URL and go ahead and create that server. So once we actually declare our ngrok server, we're going to have some links that it will output in the console where we can go ahead and just click one of those links and it will have that key from ngrok that it will pass within here within the constructed URL. And then we don't need to go ahead and manually put in anything. We'll just be able to click that link and it will look to that query parameter. It will, it will construct this URL. And then that will be how we connect to our local running Olama server. And then similar thing here, we're just going to set it within local storage if there is that URL parameter. And from here, what we're going to do is, so I have enhanced handle submit. And the reason that I have this is because the handle submit comes baked in 
to the Vercel AI SDK. So if you want to pass in additional things from the front end to the back end, like in our case, the Olama URL and the model, this is going to be how you can send that back with the handle submit. So from there, we're just going to be setting up our JSX. So we're going to be setting it all up with Tailwind classes. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to have our logo. Then right at the top, we're going to have our dropdown. Then from here, we're going to have the button to toggle the input. So if you want to manually put in that ngrok link, you can just click the button and then paste it within here. And then when we click that link, we're going to have that conditional input where it will show that input where you can put in your ngrok link. Or if you're just curious what Olama URL you're connected to, you can go ahead and click it and take a look there. And from there, we're just going to be mapping through all of the messages. So we're going to be able to declare whether it's user or whether it's the AI response. And then we're just going to have our footer, which is going to have our input for our message, as well as the button to submit. From there, we're going to be setting up a simple Express server. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, import Express and grok n.env. And the reason that we're using Express is to keep our application persistent. So we're going to go ahead and declare a very basic Express application. You can set this really to whatever port that you want. So once you deploy your Next.js application to Vercel, you can come in here and you can put your deployment URL here. Or in my case, I just put this subdomain for my Vercel application on my domain. So once we have that set up, we're just going to be setting up a basic Express server. But the main piece to pay attention to is going to be this ngrok portion. So what we're doing here is we're setting up to forward our port 11434, which is the default port that's set up on your computer when you're running Olama. And then we're also going to be passing in our ngrok auth token. So to get your auth token, you can just head on over to your auth token and you can put it within your .env here. So once we have that, we're going to use a little bit of regex to parse that first portion of our URL. And then we're going to be constructing the URLs here. So all that we're doing here is to create these quick links here. So if you're running this locally, you can go ahead and click this to be able to see your local version. Once you have that deployment URL there, you can click this to be able to interact with your web UI. Or if you just want to check on that ngrok, establish that connection with Olama as it should, you can go ahead and click that and you should be able to see that Olama is running if it's established correctly. So that's pretty much it. To get this all started, all you have to do is you can go ahead and node index.js to get this all started once you've installed all of the dependencies. And then similarly, if you want to deploy this to Vercel, you can go ahead Vercel prod and deploy it. Or if you want to run it locally, you can just go ahead and npm run dev. And then once you have that running, you can head back to that link there. So you see here that we have our local host and this is that URL that I was talking about. So this is gonna be how it declares that ngrok server. So if I just say, hello world, we can see those streaming responses on our local host. And then if you deploy it to Vercel, you can go ahead, click your link here, open it up here. So the other thing with this, you can go ahead and copy this and then you can send it to your cell phone if you want. So if you have your computer on, Olama on, as well as that ngrok server set up, you'll be able to go ahead and access your Olama instance from anywhere. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.